welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nikki Drew and today's video is me testing out ColourPop's new stick foundation. I'm actually really excited about this video because I have been waiting on this package for some time. Like no really, I ordered this the day it came out and it just came today. And I mean I'm kind of salty because honestly I wanted to get this out as soon as possible for you guys. Because I did order this a while ago and they sent it to me so late they did send me a little lipstick and it says we appreciate that over here. We love the free PR. They gave me Buffy. Let's just, just like a little, ooh, this is a cool, a cute little new, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, maybe we will wear her today. Look how cute, look how like perfect this is laid out. I did get two foundations and then I got two concealers and then I got some Supernova eyeshadows. I love their Supernova eyeshadows. I'm always like hitting pan on my other ones so I always feel like I need to fill up whenever I order something from ColourPop. I'm like, you know what? Throw in some of those eyeshadows because I'm pretty sure I have some empty ones, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and apply my base and this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin C base. If you guys saw my last video, or not my last because I just uploaded again. You go girl! I've been uploading y'all. I've been uploading. Okay, but if you saw my one of my previous videos, I did uh, my most expensive makeup, and I just found like a bunch of gems that I didn't even know I had, or that I like, you know, I just had them and I wasn't utilizing them. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and put on this face. This face is so, it's just such a difference. Like, it just makes such a difference in my makeup. I just noticed that my makeup lasts so much longer, and it just looks so much like, just photoshopped and airbrushed and pictures, and I just, I don't know, ever since I've been using this, oh girl, okay, but ever since I've been using this, I have... I haven't had any bad things happen to me. So I'm gonna go ahead with my actual primer and I'm gonna use the Tasha Silk Canvas Primer. I'm known for using like three different primers. Y'all are like, can you get to the foundation? I'm gonna get there, okay? I just have to prime. I have to prime. I don't really use this thing here. I just like to kind of rub my nasty, gnarly fingers through it and pick up the product and just kind of pat it into my palm area. I don't use this all over my face. I just used this right on top of where my pores like to try me at. So I did get two foundations just to test it out because buying foundation online is very, very risky. Like, they do have this new, like, match your shade to a different shade thing. I did try that. I did match myself to New Guinea from the NARS foundation. It's like skin to me. And so I did use that as a reference. What are you? My cat is back here. I got the foundation that they matched me from using their foundation match system or whatever and then I got the foundation just in case that I thought that it was more towards my skin tone because I didn't really trust them like that you know we got trust issues on this channel this is what the packaging looked like just so you guys can get a close-up so here is a close-up of dark 175 and I like the packaging a lot it's very sleek and just white I also have dark 67 and this is the one that was actually matched to me so this is 167 West, and she looks actually super similar to Dark 175. Like they look, they look pretty much damn near identical. Actually, really good. Like, cause that means that they have different undertones, or they just have a little slight difference, which is really good for the next brown girl who tries to shade. This is Dark 167 West. So she looks like she matches me. Like she could work. She's a little bright for my liking. And this is the other shade. This is 175 West. Okay, so we definitely see the difference. I'm gonna use a dark 167 West and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply her. She definitely looks the same color as my NARS Velvet Foundation Stick that I'm just like really obsessed with. If you guys are new to my channel, then you don't know that. But if you aren't new to my channel, then you guys have seen me use that a lot on my channel. And she definitely looks the same shade as New Guinea, so that's exciting. As far as the application, she's pretty smooth. For a $10 foundation, say what? Oh, okay. Oh, she's definitely, she's like butter. Oh, this looks really good. Okay. This is looking pretty similar to my $40 foundation stick. So basically, I'm just wearing ColourPop foundation from now on because for $10, like, why would you not? I can't. Okay, 
guys, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera to save time. I'm going to be using the ColourPop concealer and the ColourPop palette. I'm just going to basically do a full face of ColourPop. And then I will go about my day as usual, filming, editing, doing whatever bloggers do when they're not filming, whatever it is. And then I will show you guys what she looks like at the very end of the day. Right now, it is 10 o'clock. You guys don't trust me. You guys got all my notifications. Um, but it is 10 o'clock. And so we have maybe until like 8 o'clock. Hey guys, so I just finished the rest of my face off camera. And like I said, I used all of the ColourPop products that I have. I did use the ColourPop concealer and then I used this eyeshadow palette. This is my first time using this eyeshadow palette. I've had it for like six months and I just haven't got around to using it. And let me just tell y'all like, oh my god, like I'm here for this look. Like this whole this whole vibe. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm just gonna go about my day. I'm probably gonna film like a come shot with me. Probably gonna do some editing and then about in eight hours I would come back and film you guys what my face looks like. And that this this held up pretty good because so far it looks it looks great. Like I'm not gonna lie. I just forgot how much I love color pop. Like Alright guys, so it is now six o'clock PM. My cat's being very very needy needs to be held so basically this is what my face looks like did you guys see i have some creasing just the smell lines you know no big deal nothing major i'm really really feeling it you like it baby likes it i love the shine i i love how natural it's a really natural finish like i really love this finish honestly if you don't like this shine you can always just get some toilet paper or some blot paper or you could like use a matte setting spray i'm gonna go ahead and blot with the fenty beauty um blotting paper just so like i can see the difference so i'm just gonna take a little piece of paper probably not anymore i'm just gonna I haven't blotted all day. This is probably a reason why I look so shiny right now. Especially my nose area. This is like super shiny. So there you have it. I just blotted. So if I did look a little oily, and then my like you know your skin produces natural oils throughout the day that's really not like anything uncommon if you wear makeup for eight hours six hours you're gonna get a little you know a little oily just a tad i don't think it was anything major but i did block for you guys so you guys can compare and see for yourself all right guys it's gonna be the end of the video peace he's so sleepy he's a sleepy kitty you a sleepy kitty. You have kitty dreams. Kitty dreams.